Hello everybody, my name is Dennis Brager. I'm the founder of the Brager Tax Law Group. And today I'm here to talk to you about whether or not it's necessary to report gifts from foreign persons. This is a confusing topic for people because most people realize that when you receive a gift, you don't pay tax on it. And sometimes the donor might pay tax, the person who gave you the gift might owe tax, gift tax, but that only occurs when the gifts are very large. So generally speaking, people have a $13 million exemption before they have to start paying tax on gifts they give. So that's not going to apply to too many people. But what I want to focus on today is about what happens if you receive a gift from a foreign person. Here the rules are a little different. You still are not required to pay any tax on receiving that, that gift, so that's good news. But what can be bad news is that you're required to report that gift to the Internal Revenue Service on Form 3520. And it's not all gifts, it's gifts that exceed $100,000 from a foreign person during the calendar year. So if you were to receive $100,002 from your father, who is not a U.S. person, then you would be required to file Form 3520. And it doesn't matter if that gift is in cash or whether it was received in the form of property of some sort or another. Uh, it also doesn't matter whether it's received as a gift during the person's lifetime or if you receive it as an inheritance after they pass away. The rule is, is the same. It's over $100,000. You need to file that form 3520. And the form 3520 is pretty simple. It only asks three questions as it applies to this, this situation. You know, what was the type of the gift? What was the amount of the gift? And what was the date of the gift? And that's it. So you would think it would be no big deal if you didn't file this form, but in fact it is a big deal. The penalty for not filing this form is 5% per month up to a maximum of 25%. So if you receive a gift of $200,000 and you don't file the form uh, for six months, let's say, then you're subject to a $50,000 penalty on that, that gift. So you want to make sure you file that form. It needs to be filed in a timely manner. It is due on the same date as your income tax return. So for most people, that's April 15th. If you file an extension to October 15th, then in that situation, you have until October 15th to file the form 3520. The form 3520 does not go with the tax return itself. It's not attached to the tax return. Instead, it is filed separately and it is sent off to Ogden, Utah. So you need to get that return sent out to Ogden, Utah no later than October 15th if you filed for an extension. Now, you might want to know who is a foreign person and that is anybody who is not a U.S. citizen or a green card holder. And it doesn't matter where that person is in the world. If they're living here in the United States and they're just here on a visa, but they're not a U.S. citizen and they're not somebody who has a green card, then you're required to file that form 3520. If if you have any further questions about Form 3520 or any tax litigation or tax controversy topic, please go to our website or give us a call to set up a consultation. Thank you for listening.